Good morning. said in the beginning, you have to kind of weigh how much do I want to spend, how much time do I want to put in it, time versus money. So we just decided I'm going to clean these fenders all up and paint them black and use them, the ones that came with them. Yeah, and they're very pitted, but we'll probably end up having to do the same thing to them that we did to the shafts, a little filler. A lot of primer, a lot of wet sanding, and they'll end up being nice, shiny, pretty black fenders. And I already have them. So let's do this. Okay, believe it or not, I think most of that pitting is coming out of there. I might be able to get away with just heavy primer and wet sanding. All right, there's a first coat of primer on both of them. And there's a little pitting, but you know, I'm getting a little more time into this than I wanted, so. And I got a long way to go. I got a seat and a floor and the tires to all do, so. It is what it is, and I'm gonna live with it as it is. All right, so, update here. I just talked to a local bike shop uh, I have that one really good tire. It's an Odyssey. Uh, 2.40, which is a nice fat tire <clears throat> that I think I'm going to go ahead and use. The bike shop has a matching one for it for 35 bucks for this side, and I'm going to need an inner tube for it. So, uh, And I, I might just have them mount it. They charge 6 bucks to mount it. Uh, so I'm gonna have 50 bucks in a wheel, or a tire, I mean, for this side, just for the one side. So I'm glad I painted those fenders. Uh, I'm gonna get about 60, believe it or not, in the seat. Uh, I priced Joanne Fabrics for foam and a vinyl, black vinyl, like a Naga hide kind of vinyl. And between the vinyl and the foam, it's going to be like 60 bucks for it. So I'm going to have another 150 in just one tire and a seat, which really runs the cost up of re restoration here. But I, I knew that was coming. Uh, neither one are a huge surprise price wise. So uh, I think those fenders are pretty well dried and ready to wet sand. I'll be back here in a minute. Okay, so that ugly purple rim had to go. Uh, I think I'm going to just leave that black flat primer because that one 
is basically flat black. I need to clean that up a little bit. Uh, I think I'm going to leave it like that. Alright, so now it's time to work on the seat. And I had these rough sawn pine boards left from siding my barn. Uh, and that's going to be obviously covered in upholstery. So I decided to use it for there for sure. The next question is, do I use the same thing on the floor? Now, my planer quit working here a while back, but I got a neighbor with a planer and I'm sure he'd plan a board for me. So if I'm gonna use the rough, the rough sawn pine, and it was cut with a bandsaw, so it's not real rough. If I'm gonna use that on the floor, do I varnish it? It's pine. Do I paint it black? I've got some flat black, like a quart of brush on, I could use. Uh, or do I spend the money and buy an oak board for the floor? A couple of them, actually. And, uh, and varnish the oak and leave it, you know, leave it varnished, not painted. Still deciding that. Uh, but first thing we got to do before anything, I got to run to Ernie's bike shop and get a tire for that wheel. And I got to get the uh, vinyl and the foam for the seat. So I think we're going to go ahead and run. Uh, so I guess I'll see you when we get back maybe. All right, so plans have changed about a million times today. Uh, we decided we're gonna run to Joanne Fabrics and Ernie's Bike Shop tomorrow. So I went ahead and did the wood, uh, routered the edges round on the floorboards. Uh, and we made a decision to go ahead and use this pine. I had it, cut some costs, which means because it's pine, I'm gonna paint it black. So, that's what we decided. We being my wife and I. <laughs> so, uh, I'm gonna get some paint out. And then I gotta move some ducks. Okay, see you in a minute. All right, so, the good news is, uh, I knew I had a quart of flat black in the shop, but I found some gloss uh, from Tractor Supply, and it's actually labeled buggy paint. Uh, bad news is it's oil based, but that's all right. It'll really hold up in the weather. Um, so that's what we're using. See you in a minute. Okay, so those are painted. So, it's going to be like overnight to let dry because it is oil base. But that's all right. Well, my rubber tips just came. So we'll put those on the front. There you go, that looks nice. Okay. Okay, we're back from our little field trip. So, I got the tire, it's an Odyssey. Matches the tread on the other one exactly, and that's awesome. Uh, I picked up a few more carriage bolts. The ones that I had bought before, I didn't get quite enough of them for all the floorboards and everything. And they were a little long. I got two inch before, so this time I got an inch and a half. Uh, and I got some staples to upholster the seat with. And then went to Joanne Fabrics and got black vinyl, which they thought they were out of, but they found another roll on the back. Thank goodness. So we got the black vinyl. We got the foam. Life's good. 
uh, show you my totals here in a minute. All right, so at Lowe's, uh, the carriage bolts, nuts came to $27. So we were at 90. So now we're at 117. Then, Ernie's, the tire was $34.99, eight bucks for an inner tube. Uh, I needed axle nuts, thank goodness they had them, buck 98. And they put it on for me, they didn't even charge me for that. So, total there was 49. So what I say we were at 117, we were at 90, yeah 117, and then might as well say 50, yeah we'll just say 50 bucks. So uh, what 117 would be 167, and then Joanne's uh, 167. Uh, black black marine vinyl and uh, foam total was 45 even, so 167. That'd be 212. That's our total. Shouldn't need anything else. 212 is what we got in her. Cool. All right, so I'm about to upholster the seat. And I'm going to do this in the bedroom because it's carpeted and it's going to work. Uh, so I bought a yard of vinyl. And the way I had to buy the foam, it was uh, two feet wide, three inches thick, and uh, by the yard. So I bought four feet, but I had to get the, the whole 24 wide, so I had to cut that. So... A bread knife, electric knife works real well to cut it. You can do it with scissors, it's just slow. Anyway, so I cut that to the width of the board. And now I'll lay the board on it. Hang on, I'll be back and show you. Oh, and I should have mentioned, uh, you need to keep the bolts in, or put the bolts in, so that uh, they're there when you, when you put the seat onto the frame so I put my knees on the board to squish the foam down and stapled both ends so now I'll wrap this up around and staple it oh and I folded it under about half inch so that the staples are going through a double layer and I'll be back Okay, so then I just folded that side up, stapled it, and I folded the corners like you would a Christmas present. So now I gotta cut the excess off, fold it over, and do the same. Okay, there you go. Let's go get it on the sulky. Okay, so the seat's on and bolted down. The wheel with a new tire on it is on and all I have to do now is bolt the floorboards see you in a minute well that's it it's officially finished seats done floors done tires done unless I see any little touch-ups that need done that'll be it she's ready to sell uh, so I ended up with $212 in it. I'm thinking, well, and I, and almost four days work, three and a half. Uh, and I like to figure $100 a day, which is only like 12 bucks an hour, but it's things I enjoy doing, so that's not bad. So if you figure, uh, Really, I just figure three days, because I took a lot of breaks. Three days, 
300 bucks, uh, 212 in it, in materials. So I'm thinking 550, and it should bring that. I think that's a fair price for me and for the buyer. So there it is. Hey, thanks for following along on this little project. I enjoyed it, I hope you did too. Hit a thumbs up and subscribe and come back and see what's next. I'll see you next video.